Old Smart Farm was officially established in 2018, but obviously the farm has been a part of Olds College for over a century. But in 2018, there was a very intentional or deliberate shift in focus for that farm and the farm operations to really be a place for applied research and teaching and learning, specifically with smart ag or new technologies. It's a living lab, essentially. It's a place to come and integrate with other technologies to work with experts in the ag tech space and just really further develop, validate, scale and demonstrate new ag technologies. As of today, our Olds College Smart Farm is now 3,600 acres in two provinces, both Alberta and Saskatchewan. We have land assets that we can access for applied research demonstration and, and teaching purposes. So 3,600 acre lab space essentially for growing crops and forages to produce feed for our livestock herd, which is also operated as closely as possible to commercial a commercial herd while giving us the flexibility to do research and teaching and learning um, components with that. The expansion to Saskatchewan is another 800 acres of, of space in um, another growing zone or another, another climate entirely. This is going to be our first year of operations there with the 2022 growing season. It's another door that's open for our own researchers, for our partners and for our students to learn about ag and tech integration and improving profitability, productivity and sustainability of food production. As a college doing applied research, we are focused on serving industry and industry partners and helping industry answer the questions that they need answered to advance their product process or service. So one way to think about the applied research at Olds College is we're a small research and development team for small companies that don't have their own research and development or R&D team. So we can be brought in and work with partners to design research projects, to do some market surveys and market analysis, or to execute projects and collect data, analyze data, and help them answer questions. At Olds College, we're focused obviously on agricultural-based research. Um, and so we have expertise and infrastructure to do research related to crop production, livestock production, as well as breeding with the new Field Crop Development Centre within Olds College. So since the establishment of the Olds College Smart Farm and the Smart Ag Applied Research Focus, um, Olds College has secured over $64 million in investment for research and the Smart Ag ecosystem overall. Our research team has grown from about 15 dedicated researchers to 35 and counting. Um, and the number of partners has just exploded. I am mainly focused on the floating island technology for livestock water remediation. We're using this research at our own Olds College uh, Smart Farm feedlot pond within the Technology Access Centre for Livestock Production. Also, we have some floating island um, technology displayed at our pond at our Smart Farm Botanical Gardens that's on campus as well. The islands itself is a technology that's new. It's uh, Alberta cold climate floating technology. We use all native Alberta wetland plants. Plus we use auto samplers that will catch any runoff that's going into the pond so we can analyze it uh, for what's going in as far as contaminants. The biggest benefit we're hoping for our feedlot operators and producers is that they are given a low cost alternative option of trying to reuse and clean their feedlot runoff water for irrigation purposes and ideally livestock watering. Well, the best thing I like about Olds College is that um, we have access to new cutting edge technology that changes the way we think um, about uh, Alberta Ag and its environment. And uh, our research is pretty cool too. It's always new. So the Hyperlayer Data Project at Olds College is, is unique and leverages our specific expertise and ability to collect data in a way that is at the right scale and in the right format, compiled in the right way to be accessible for anyone who wants to derive conclusions from that data. It's hundreds and hundreds of layers of data that 
will allow us to connect dots that have never been connected before. It's going to be the, the foundation on which we can build new predictive algorithms and predictive analytics that is going to make data more usable for in-season management decisions. Growing more with less is this huge or this big challenge that we've all been, we're all faced with. So with our applied research and our, and our focus in, in ag, every project has an environmental component to it or an environmental sustainability component to it. It's that environmental footprint component, I think, that understanding that and just adopting best management practices that we know are going to help shrink that footprint or improve it in, in a way that makes things more sustainable, that's really what a lot of our research focuses on.